Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's Honors Convocation for Fort LaBeouf High School. We're so pleased that you're able to join us. We're so excited for this evening as it certainly is absolutely one of my favorite nights of the year. 20 years ago when I first started in administration and had the first opportunity to participate in Honors Convocation, it opened up my eyes to the wonderful union between our community and our seniors. As our seniors are getting ready to take off and accomplish so much, they're excited about the, the what's ahead of them and they're excited about new adventures. It gives them a clear opportunity, even though we talk about it for years, it's the first time that they really, really feel that support from the community. So many clubs, so many organizations, so many groups that come together to provide money and help promote and help move our students in that next direction and support their post-secondary education. Certainly been one of my favorite nights for many years and it will, it will continue to do so. Tonight you're gonna see over 50 scholarships presented from Mrs. Uvegis and Mr. Emmerich and you're gonna see so many different groups represented. One thing that's amazing to me is dozens and dozens of students are recognized and get that helpful hand moving in, in the direction for them for their future. You're gonna see different scholarships for different reasons. Some are put in place as an honor of, of maybe a fallen a loved one or someone who's passed away. Sometimes these scholarships are in honor of a notable uh, Fort LaBeouf alumni, maybe something that they did that was particularly amazing in high school or maybe after in, in the rest of their life. And so there's a scholarship honoring them. And then lastly, as we talked about, some are just organizations within our community that take time and they put hours and hours throughout the year that their end goal, their main function is to raise money and to be able to present scholarships during this time. So it's very, very exciting for us to see that union. And it's very exciting for our students to start to really appreciate how much this community does for them. We are so fortunate to live in such a wonderful community as Fort LaBeouf School District. As students come from Summit and Mill Village and, and Waterford and they all come together and they work hard and they, they create those long lasting relationships, whether it's in the arts with different presentations, different performances, or maybe it's with athletics where they're competing against other schools. And then sometimes it's our service organizations that are working hard to bring back and give back to the community. And then lastly, our academic groups and clubs that compete against other schools. We're so proud of all of you. So, so pleased and excited to kind of celebrate you, promote you and, and help give you a little step in the next direction. So, as, as, uh, as we move forward, one of the groups that you're going to hear from is Mr. Emmerich will be representing our Fort LaBeouf Foundation. Fort LaBeouf Foundation is led by President Denny Fortin. He does an outstanding job. In fact, at the end of this evening, hopefully you're going to be Im impressed enough that you reach out. We'll have a slide at the very end where you can reach out and connect with either uh, the, the president of the FLB Foundation, Denny Fortin, or you could rep or reach out to the uh, chairman of the board, Val Rose, and you can get a chance to reach out to them. Maybe you're going to want to be a part of this wonderful organization as you see all that they do to bring to our students. You know, as we take a look, we always like to, about this time of year, start to collect and, and you know, get an idea on how much these students are going to be um, using towards their, towards their post-secondary plans. And this year, uh, really impressive, over 1.6 million to date. And that's of the, the filming of this. We know that as students continue to make their final decisions and they continue to reach out to Mrs. Uvegis, we'll get a more accurate number. So look for that somewhat closer to uh, June. Uh, we'll, we'll probably announce that on our high school Facebook account. So, so far, and you know, when we talk about that 1.6 million, just to help you understand how impressive that is, we take any scholarships, we prorate them over four years, and we only take the scholarships that are directly involved with our students post-secondary plans. So if a student is offered three or four different scholarships at three or four different um, universities, we don't count all of those. We're only counting the one that they're accepting that's directly helping and supporting them as they move forward. So a very impressive number. It's something that's gone up every year since Mrs. Uvegis has been involved. And uh, we expect that number to grow some more. As she reported to me, the number of students that have gotten back to her, and we know there's still several more of you that need to reach out as we as we collect and get those final numbers. Speaking of Mrs. Uvegis, we've been so fortunate to have Mrs. Uvegis working in our guidance department. 
she works primarily with the 11th and 12th graders and her role is that transition out of the high school. Mrs. Lutzo focuses on the transition into the high school and Mrs. Uv just focuses on the transition out of the high school. Mr. Emmerich, our superintendent, has made it very, very clear. His goal, his objective for us is that every single student upon receiving that diploma in their hand has a plan for the next day. Not that they're gonna all of a sudden say, okay, wake up, what am I gonna do? We want them to have that plan in place and determined once they leave. Some of you are going to the workforce. Some of you are going into college. Some of you are going into the military. Whatever your next step is, we need to make sure that you are prepared and ready to go and ready to be successful with the next phase of your life. And we really feel that the class of 2020 represents that. So to get things started, I'd like to bring uh, out Miss, Mrs. Uvegis so that she can begin presenting scholarships and she'll later on introduce our school superintendent, Mr. Emmerich. So with that, Mrs. Uvegis, um, you're, you're on. Good evening. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm honored to be standing here to celebrate you. I wish we could be together tonight in the auditorium and I could shake each one of your hands, but what is important is that we're here to reward your hard work. I have no doubt that you will all go on to do great things. On behalf of the high school counseling department, which includes myself, Mrs. Gadley, and Mrs. Lutzo, we want to congratulate you on all your success. It has been our pleasure working with you each year. We are certain that the opportunities that you have had through the Center for Post-Secondary and Career Discovery Program have prepared you to confidently enter into the next chapter of your life, whatever that may be. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment and acknowledge the Fort LaBeouf Foundation and its president, Denny Fortin, for their continued work and the contribution to our students. I would also like to thank the local community in awarding over 50 scholarships tonight, totaling over $85,000. I believe that this speaks highly to the generosity of this community. We'll begin with the first scholarship tonight, the Robison PTO Scholarship. Congratulations, Aiden Thiemann and Eva Tillich. Next, Summit Lions Club Scholarship. The recipients are Aiden Thiemann and Francesca Bellamini. Next, Mill Village PTO Scholarship. Congratulations, Luke Webster. The Waterford Lioness Scholarship. The recipients are Elise Dinsmore and McKaylin Alsop. Next, is the Waterford Elementary PTO Scholarship. The winners are Madison Kraft and Ben Turry. Next is the Fort LaBeouf Education Association. The winner is Emma Wilcox. Next, Brian Milne Scholarship. The recipients are Kendra Wilson and Eva Tillich. Next is the Fort LaBeouf Middle School PTO Scholarship. Congratulations, Owen Winzikowski and Andrew Crilly. Next scholarship is the David Ignasiak Memorial Scholarship. The winner is Joel Huck. Next is the Fort LaBeouf Football Parent Scholarship. The recipients are Caleb Dawn, Joseph Gentile, Andrew Lichtinger, and Ben Turry. Moving along, the Fort LaBeouf Service Personnel Scholarship. Congratulations, Luke Webster, Madeline Terrell, Olivia Cornwell, and Robert Scholes. Next is the Paul Mongera Memorial Scholarship. The recipients are 
Morgan Donnell, and Elise Dinsmore. Next scholarship is the West End Community Center Scholarship. The recipients are Lucas Mosier and Caitlin Lander. Next scholarship is the Fort LaBeouf Band Boosters Scholarship. Congratulations, Evelyn Bangle. Next is the Waterford Garden Club Scholarship. Congratulations, Parker Scully. Next scholarship is the Fort LaBeouf Bison Boys Basketball Scholarship. The recipients are Lucas Golner, Joseph Riley, Clifford Fuller, and Ben Turi. Next award is the Sue Caldwell Nursing Scholarship. The winner is McKaylin Alsop. Next, we have the Erie Community Foundation Jean Stahl Memorial Scholarship. The winner is Cassidy Tech. Next award is the Fort LaBeouf Student Council Scholarship. The recipients are Elena Bengal, Rachel Dom, Andrew Lichtinger, Caleb Dawn, and Ben Turi. Now I would like to turn it over to our superintendent, Mr. Emmerich, who will announce the Fort LaBeouf Foundation Scholarships. Thank you, Mrs. Uvegis. And as uh, Mr. Rempa and Mrs. Uvegis mentioned earlier, we are so grateful for the tremendous and historical partnership we have had with the foundation over the years and all the great things that they provide to our students here within the Fort LaBeouf community. The first scholarship I will be presenting this evening is the Fort LaBeouf Foundation Dustin Fortin Scholarship. This year's recipient is Morgan Donnell. The Waterford Invitational Memorial Scholarship has several participants, Andrew Lichtinger, Elise Dinsmore, Caleb Don, Madeline Bengal, Allison Bengal, and Evelyn Bengal, Ben Turi, and Rachel Don. The Fort LaBeouf Foundation Ronald Oberlander Memorial Scholarship, Emma Wilcox, Andrew Crilly, Rachel Dom, Andrew Lichtinger, Cassidy Tech, Evelyn Bengal, Dalton Hopt, Emily Kaczynski. The Trace Scholarship, Joseph Gentile. The Lawrence J. Gerline Engineering Scholarship, Gabriella Cook. The Kuhn Family Scholarship is awarded to Caleb Dawn. The Verify Services WAVE or WAVE Scholarship, Gabriella Cook. Miss Evelyn Askey Zaleski Art Scholarship, Madeline Bengal. Sons of American Legion Post 285 Scholarship, Lucas Mosier and McKaylin Alsop. The last scholarship I will be presenting this evening is the FLB Foundation Scholarship, the Val Valedictorian Scholarship. And again, that goes to Lucas Mosier. Congratulations to all of our scholarship recipients. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to Mrs. Uvegis. Thank you. Moving along, we're gonna uh, move to the Erie Community Foundation Nancy Ostronek Cross Scholarship. Congratulations, Francesca Bellamini, Olivia Cornwell, Andrew Crilly, 
Georgia Huck and Hannah Vandemia. Next scholarship is the National Honor Society. The recipients are Caleb Don, McKaylin Alsop, Eva Tillich, and Andrew Crilly. Next scholarship is the Lady Bison Soccer Scholarship. Congratulations, Marissa Badaracco, Haley Kosterman, and Kendra Wilson. Next, we have the VFW Post 740 Edinburgh McCain Scholarship. The winner is Haley Kosterman. Next award is the Kiwanis Club Scholarship. The winner is Kendra Wilson. Next scholarship is the American Legion Post 285 Auxiliary Scholarship. The winners are Andrew Lichtinger, Madeline Terrell, Madison Kraft, and Emily Kaczynski. Next, we have the Fort LaBeouf Bison Boosters Cross Country Scholarship. The winners are Genevieve Feltmeyer and Joshua Algier. Next, we have the Waterford Lions Community Service Scholarship. The winner is Aiden Thiemann. Next is the FLB Leadership Scholarship. The recipients are Genevieve Feltmeyer and Andrew Crilly. Next, we have the Waterford Lions Dynamic Senior Award. Congratulations, Lucas Mosier. Next, we have the Fort LaBeouf Cheerleading Scholarship. The winner is Kendra Wilson. Next, National Art Honor Society Scholarship. The winner is Cassidy Tech. Next, we have the Lady Bison Basketball Scholarship. The recipients are Emily Kaczynski, Lakin Proctor, and Rachel Dong. Next is the Lady Bison Volleyball Scholarship. Recipients are Emily Kaczynski, Rachel Dong, Morgan Donnell, Georgia Huck, and Lakin Proctor. Next tonight, we have the Fort LaBeouf Boys Soccer Team Scholarship. The recipients are Lucas Mosier, Chatson Ruling, Connor Sheehan, Lucas Golner, Nate Larson, Aiden Thiemann, and Hunter Yaple. Next, we have the Fort LaBeouf Baseball Booster Scholarship. Those recipients are Ethan Bainey, Hunter Byerly, Joel Huck, Corey Withers, and Zach Lewis. Next is the Lady Bison's Softball Booster Scholarship. Congratulations, Morgan Donnell, Brittany Arndt, Elise Dinsmore, and Caitlin Lander. Next is the American Legion Post 285 Scholarship. The winner is Madeline Terrell. Next is the American Legion Post 285 Commander Scholarship. Congratulations, Emily Kaczynski. The last scholarship we have tonight is the Alton and Mildred Cross Scholarship. And we'd like to just take a moment and thank the Cross family for their continued contributions to our students. This year marks 26 years that the Cross family has been graciously supporting our students through scholarships dating back to 1994. This year, the family is awarding 22 scholarships to the class of 2020. This scholarship is also renewable for one year. Congratulations goes to 
Michaelin Alsop, Marissa Bataraco, Allison Bangle, Evelyn Bangle, Madeline Bangle, Caleb Dawn, Elise Dinsmore, Joshua Algier, Genevieve Feltmeyer, Dalton Hot, Rachel Kimmy, Haley Kosterman, Emily Kaczynski, Andrew Lichtinger, Robert Scholes, Parker Skelly, Madeline Terrell, Ben Turry, Luke Webster, Emma Wilcox, Ashley Wieson, and Corey Withers. Thank you so much. Again, I'm so proud of all your hard work. We miss you all, and we really wish you all the best. And now I will turn it back over to Mr. Rimpa, who will announce the Outstanding Male and Female Athletes of the Year. Thank you, Mrs. Uvegis, and congratulations, all of our honorees. Certainly very impressive as we take a look at all of those scholarships, and it's just amazing the generosity of our community. Thank you, everyone that contributes, and thank you, everyone that's, especially during this year with so much unknown and so many things going on in our world, that people are still taking time to support you students and, and believe in you and that you have all the all so many goals and so many aspirations in front of you and hopefully what we provided this evening what they provided and we were just certainly facilitated will help promote that and, and make you successful i know it will and speaking of successful i now get the honor of recognizing our outstanding male athlete and outstanding female athlete mr barton our athletic director has worked with the athletic administration as well as all of the coaches and they got together and they determined who they believe best represents Fort LaBeouf High School in the class of 2020. You're going to recognize both of these faces as they've also received several scholarships this evening. So it's, it's the first thing that, that I take note of is that these are well-rounded individuals, not just strictly focused on athletics, but focused on being a well-rounded person with strong grades, strong character, representing the community of Fort LaBeouf, representing their families, and representing all of us in interscholastic competition. So our first winner, our male athlete of the year is Ben Turry. Congratulations, Ben. Many of you have got a chance to see Ben compete through the years, whether it was on the football field or on the basketball court or on and during track and field. Ben is a tremendous competitor, a tremendous young man with great character who's always represented his family and the school district with pride and dignity. So congratulations, Ben, on a very well-deserved honor. And next, we have our female athlete of the year, and the winner is Morgan Donnell. So proud of you, Morgan. You've represented Fort LaBeouf on the volleyball court, and you've represented us on the softball diamond, and I know softball is one of your greatest passions. In fact, uh, the last time you were competing, I believe it was representing the United States in uh, international competition overseas. So proud of you and all that you have brought to Fort LaBeouf. Both of you folks are uh, just, just wonderful people that absolutely emulate what it means to be a Fort LaBeouf athlete, to be a student athlete and a scholar athlete from Fort LaBeouf. So thank you for all of your hard work. Thank you for all of your dedication and good luck to both of you in the future. So that brings us to the end where we talked about making sure that you had an opportunity to give back. One of the positives of having to do virtual ceremonies and different things in the Bison broadcast is we're hearing from Fort LaBeouf alumni all over the country that are reaching out to us because you know, there's only so many people that fit in the um, auditorium for honors convocation, and there's only so many people that are able to make it that evening. But what's happening is more and more people are hearing about the great things at Fort LaBeouf. More people are hearing about the outstanding achievement and the wonderful students that we have here. And so many people are reaching out to us at the school, talking about how they might have saw something on a bison broadcast or one of our virtual ceremonies or virtual presentations, and they want to know how to give back. So here's a great opportunity for you to give back. 
please reach out through our FLB Foundation. Maybe you want to start your own scholarship. Maybe something you saw this evening inspired you in your club or your organization. Maybe there's a loved one you want to recognize and you want to uh, do a memorial. Or maybe you want to contribute to an existing scholarship. Whatever you're interested in, or perhaps you even live right here in the community and you want to find out how you can get involved and how you can support. We're always in need of man hours and we're always in need of support that way. So here's two ways to connect. You either can connect through uh, Denny or through Val. Their phone numbers are there listed for you. So please reach out to them. Uh, please reach out to them through email. Their emails are listed there. So reach out to those folks. They're going to help you get set up and tell you what the next step is in helping to be part of a wonderful evening like tonight. So as we come to a close, this is part one of our ceremony. And we are so excited to, to have all these kids honored and, and all this money going into their pockets to help them accomplish their dreams. We now invite you to part two of our honors convocation where we focus on academic honors and we focus on students achievement primarily in the classroom. So congratulations, all of our honorees. Thank you to our community. We're so proud to be part of Fort LaBeouf and have a great evening and take care.